I think this production of Oklahoma really offers audiences a particularly unique experience. The reason we should do a revival is to see it from a new angle. I was excited to see this production because of the buzz, and really from the minute I walked into the theater, it more than lived up to those expectations. We really take our time with the script. We really make it simple yet true and honest. Over the years, I would say that it's sort of simultaneously gotten more specific and also grown. The theme of inclusion and exclusion, and do you define a community by who you don't let into that community? I am an actress in a wheelchair, and my disability comes with me in every role that I play. We happen to then be dealing with things that maybe Rodgers and Hammerstein didn't originally write, but now can be so relevant in 2019. I think that that's um, really exciting, particularly in the time that we're living in, because I think that we are craving honesty. There's definitely things we, we found and experienced this fall that are different from 2015 because I'm a different person than who I was three and a half years ago. The country is in a different place than where it was. And so I'm very excited to be doing this every day for the next while. There is just such a joy and a sense of family. We work very hard to get the show the way we want it to feel and look and sound. And one of the strengths of Oklahoma is that it's, it's extremely generous to the people who are working on it. You keep learning things about it. I was absolutely astonished. This is like an epic piece of art. I think so highly of the cast, of the company, and of the show itself. When I'm gone, if somebody takes one of my shows and reimagines it, I hope they do it as well as this.